Hey guys, are you here? And today I want to talk about how to fix WoW and not necessarily that question itself, but examining that question itself. And the reason I've been thinking more and more about this is because Asmongold talked about it a few days ago on stream of how to fix WoW and talked about three easy steps like the 40 man raids, uh, no add-ons and reducing ability clutter. And since then, a lot of the community seems to have been agreeing and disagreeing with them for a variety of reasons. And this video is not necessarily to agree or disagree uh, with his take. Uh, maybe it would work, maybe it wouldn't. But I'm more talking about how is WoW fixable in general? Like, is this a question that we should be asking and what should our expectations be when trying to answer this question? And one of the things that I think about right away is uh, like the, the landscape of WoW, right? The landscape of MMOs in general, right? When somebody likes a game or when someone likes a certain style of fashion or when someone likes a certain genre of music, oftentimes it can be very generational and change over a period of time, right? So um, names, for example, seem to be very generational. My name is Josh. Um, in, in 2024, less people are naming their kids Josh, right? And in the 40s and 50s and 60s, you see names come and you see names go. Um, same thing with music, right? You see music seems to be very cyclical in that regard as well. Same thing with fashion. And I believe the same to be true with game genres, right? I, I believe, well, well, why wouldn't it be true, right? Why wouldn't it be true that we see MMOs come into the scene and then be very, very popular for 10 to 15 years and then leave the, the gaming scene for a while? And we see things like you know, this TikTok brain Zoomer style video game become very popularized, like a, a Fortnite or a, a Hearthstone for a while or a, a Counter-Strike or a League of Legends, something where you can press Q, press play, get into the game, have fun, leave, that it respects your time. And I'm not necessarily saying MMOs will never come back. Maybe it'll be cyclical. Maybe they will. Maybe they won't. <laughs> Maybe it was more of a one-time thing. But um, what I am saying is for whatever reason, our generation right? People born in the 90s, maybe a little earlier, um, seem to really enjoy MMOs, right? The reward structure of grinding something for a very, very long time and then being rewarded slowly. And it seems like um, people getting into gaming these days like a different reward structure, right? Get into a game quicker, have fun quicker, exit quicker, rewards quicker, everything quicker, right? And you see the same thing with content consumption with YouTube shorts, uh, Instagram reels, TikToks, right? Like it's like, let's get bite-sized versions of content to the consumer quickly, right? And it, it seems to be the same trend with video game genres and, and, and it seems like the MMO style of let's grind for weeks or months or years on end to get to an end goal and that have that slow satisfaction pay off. All right, so why am I talking about this? I think it's a, a, a decent thing to consider what a realistic expectation is for the success of a WoW expansion, for a success of a WoW patch. How should we actually rate success, right? And it's like, for a successful WoW expansion, I think a lot of us are like, well, let's, Wrath of the Lich King was quite successful and there was 10 to 15 million concurrent subscribers for WoW and it was like the peak of WoW. And like, that's pretty cool, right? Like that's, so that's success, right? By some measure of the word success, that's pretty good. And it's like, well, like, let's think about this. WoW had a generation of players that loved their game born in the 90s, little earlier, later, whatever. And now all of us playing the game for the last 15, 20 years, maybe on and off, are in their 30s, 40s, okay? We're looking at the landscape here, very broad, generalized. A lot of us are married, have kids, right um work full-time jobs maybe you're still single but you're you're you, you have bills to pay you're an adult now the the free time is different your disposable time is less your disposable income might be more and blizzard's marketing to that right but your free time is not the same as it was when you were 12 13 14 16 whatever right you have to work now right you have to, you have other things going on with your life, whether you're married, in a relationship, whatever, kids, right? All of those things. And what that means is if War Within or the next expansion or the next big patch or say Blizzard takes Asmongold's idea and puts it to the forefront and people enjoy it, 
it still doesn't necessarily mean we're going to return to those 10 to 15 million Wrath of Lich King Glory Day moments. Why? Because people simply don't have the time anymore because we're not children. Unless you're like a content creator like myself or someone who maybe is temporarily unemployed or taking time off or all these different, like there's, there's, there's reasons you can be playing all the time. But for the most part, a lot of people are, are working, right? Which means they have different priorities, different restraints on their time than they did when they were 14, right? So by definition, those same people can't play the game as much as they did, no matter how good it is. So even if Asmongold's idea or War Within is incredible, it won't be able to retain those same people that quit because they quit for life reasons, different reasons than the game altogether. Even if they want to say the game sucks now, it's like, well, you have Classic to play, you have Sod to play, and we'll get into that in a second. But the idea is, even if retail starts to own, all right, maybe it does own right now, but people just don't have that time anymore. So it's like, okay, well, Blizzard needs to attract a new audience, right? They need to attract the new 12-year-olds and the 14-year-olds. But it seems to me that I don't, I don't know many 12 or 16-year-olds or 15-year-olds that are playing Minecraft, they're playing Roblox, they're playing Fortnite, they're playing League of Legends, right? They're not playing necessarily World of Warcraft, and maybe some are, but I'm talking by and large here. 99% aren't, for the most part, playing WoW. Um, and if you're a 12-year-old watching, watching this video, shout out to you. Um, that's pretty awesome. But I, I, I guess my point is, WoW is in a very interesting position where if you want to market to the boomers, right, older people, 30s, 40s, which isn't really boomers, but you get my point, it's like, well, they don't have enough time to play the game anymore. So from Blizzard's perspective, it's like, well, we have to do something about that. And we'll return to that in a second. But if you want to market to the Zoomers as well, the next generation, they're not into the whole delayed gratification reward structure. They want it now. So if you're Blizzard and you have this product retail, it's like, okay, well, let's give rewards that respect people's time because the people that are getting older don't have the time for it clearly because they're quitting because they literally just don't have the time to play the game so let's let's make things a little bit easier let's make leveling faster in retail let's let's get everyone on full gear quicker and and then people like maybe like myself or other og mmo rpg um you know players are like well this sucks this sucks blizzard that you took away the core part of the rpg the core part of the experience and blizzard's like well look we were trying to respect your time and we're trying to market to these new these new zoomers this new generation because if we don't the game's gonna die right so they start they start advancing retail as a as a as a game to keep it alive right to to attract new audience and uh start recapturing the audience that they once had that doesn't have the time to play the game anymore well where does that lead them it's like well it <laughs> The Zoomers actually aren't playing anyway because there's games that are even quicker than MMOs as a genre. Getting back to the point of the video. Genres seem to be, game genres seem to be generational from my experience. And if they are generational, MMOs might not be super in right now. Actually, they might be more in now than they were eight years ago. Or like when, when Fortnite was you know, 2018, 2019, uh, like five years ago. They seem to be maybe more in now than then. But they're not like they were in the early 2000s or mid to late 2000s, I guess I should say, right? So we see the landscape shifting in terms of interest generationally in specific gaming genres, okay? So it's like, all right, MMOs are not super hot for the youngsters. They're not super appealing to people that are older because they take a lot of time. So retail is kind of caught in between. It's like, well, now you have an option. If you're a boomer, an older gamer that wants, wow, how it was, you have Classic Era, you have Wrath, and now you have Season of Discovery, which is an interesting niche. It's like, okay, it's caught somewhere between respecting the player's time with a little bit of quality of life and a little bit of novelty added that's exciting with a twist, but it's also the things that a lot of classic players enjoy. And, and some people will agree or disagree on the nuances of that whether it's too much like classic or too much like retail. And this video isn't supposed to necessarily go into that. Um, but a season of discovery is an interesting point when thinking about this at large. And it's like, okay, well, we have, we, we have the, uh, the initial point again. It's like, what if Blizzard does this? What if Blizzard does that? How do we make WoW great again? How do we fix WoW? How do we fix the game? How do we make this better? 
and like what what my mind automatically goes to and 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 this isn't necessarily doomer right I, I would call myself more on the side of the of an optimist essentially but i don't think wow can return to 10 to 15 million subscribers how it was in wrath of lich king because of generational interest i don't think i don't think young kids are that excited to play mmos right and that's not necessarily a bad thing right it's like there's different styles of music that people enjoy today than they did in the 70s. And that's not necessarily a bad thing. That's just a thing, right? And it's the same with, with names. We have new names today than we did back then. And we have different fashion now. And like you, you might say, if you're old like me, it's like, oh man, all oh, these youngsters, they, they, their music sucks. So their fashion sucks and they should return to that. And you know, maybe, maybe we can talk, maybe that is true. And maybe that's a whole different discussion, but that's not the point I'm trying to make. The point I'm trying to make is things change. Players want different stuff. And WoW is, by definition, an MMO, and that can't change. So no matter how good of a patch, no matter how good of an expansion, you're not going to recapture the people in their 30s and 40s for too long. Maybe they can take two weeks off work. Maybe they can push their responsibilities for a little bit and get their wife off their tail or their husband or whatever it is. But eventually, life's going to continue. And they won't be able to push it forever. And then they'll end up quitting, right? Like, or playing less and less because they don't have the time. And then they'll think, oh, wow, was so much better back then. And then the new generation isn't necessarily playing anyways because they're playing like Fortnite or whatever. And then people say, oh, well, wow sucks. And wow needs to do this. And wow needs to do that. And maybe that's true. Maybe what they're saying is true. Maybe what Asmongold's saying is true. But I want to put some context on this. And have people understand that even if what Asmongold's saying is true, even if Blizzard launches the best patch next year, later this year with War Within, I, I don't think Zoomers are going to be playing. And even if the Boomers want to play, they can't necessarily hide from life for too long and play it forever, right? They can play it sometimes, but not all the time. And if they, if they want it to respect people's time because they're getting older, then you're going to have the side of the MMO landscape that doesn't like that that wants the delayed gratification maybe someone like myself who has been playing more classic in the last year or so it's like that is why i like to play an mmo so you have this community that's now split right it's like well i want to respect my time so i'll, I'll play retail so i can get into things quicker um or you know i want things how they used to be because i used to play you know like this when i was growing up right um and we're kind of caught in the middle and blizzards kind of kind of caught in the middle i think and i they're i think they're struggling to see who should we listen to right it's a good problem to have because you have a massive fan base of people that love your ip but it's like who should we listen to should we make the game more um optimized for the next generation or should we try to just cater to the to the boomers that have kind of always enjoyed our game should we try and or should we try a little bit of both right and maybe that's kind of what they're messing out with season of discovery um and hey, this, this video isn't to necessarily come down on MMOs as a genre. It's my favorite genre by a long shot. I hope just like um, names that come back or music that comes back or uh, some of these things, I hope MMOs come back. My, my son is a, a few months old. I would love to see him, uh, you know, growing up in a generation where MMOs are cool again, right? Where MMOs are exciting to play again. And that's what everyone likes to do and, and play like in the early 2000s, like RuneScape and, and Guild Wars and WoW and, and all these different games. And it's like, what a fun thing to, to do and play online, right? Um, but yeah, it's, it, the landscape does seem to be changing. Different games are popular than before. So I guess for me to wrap up the video, it's not necessarily about how to fix WoW. It's coming to the realization that you can only fix it so much with the landscape and the confines that we actually live within, right? It's like, even if the patch owns, we still have to keep in mind the Zoomers aren't playing and the Boomers have limited time. Period. The end. So there's a cap on what can actually be obtainable and be possible. People are going to play new patches for a few weeks because they can get the time off work or they can justify it for a little bit and even maybe enjoy it a lot maybe it's even pretty darn fun but then they're going to probably quit right and hey this isn't to say blizzard couldn't do better because of course they could right um but yeah i think 
keeping our expectations in line with what the 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 confines actually can uh like hold within it right it's like this is impossible to have 10 to 15 million concurrent users based on generational trends period all right so i hope you enjoyed the video if you did give it a thumbs up if you didn't give it a thumbs down and start a discussion in the comments whether you guys agree or disagree with what i'm saying completely have a good one